Good morning. I'm talking to Rabbi Tradbert this morning. Good morning, Rabbi. How are you? Good morning. Nice to be here. Good, good. Rabbi, what is a ketubah? Uh, ketubah is when, when a person gets married, when a couple gets married, they sign a document. Um, it's really like a prenuptial agreement that's uh, uh, an agreement between the man and the woman concerning their marriage. Um, the details of the ketubah were developed uh, 2,000 years ago in a different society, but what it, what it is is the protection for the woman that the man will not divorce her um, easily, meaning the, uh, what the ketubah says is that the man is re- – all, all of the obligations in the ketubah are on the man to support his wife. It says in the ketubah that the man will provide food, shelter, clothing, emotional support to his wife. And should the marriage ever be dissolved, which would be by one of two ways, either he dies or they get divorced, then he will give his wife a lump sum payment from his estate for her to be supported by So it's a protection if a man gets angry and says to his wife, you know, I want to divorce you, well, he's going to pay for it. So it's a, it's a little bit of a break on um, getting uh, carried away and saying things that you're going to regret later on. It's a protection for the woman. Uh, so today what's done is usually at a marriage, right before the, the ceremony, the men get together and they, uh, they sign the, this document. The witnesses sign that the man has agreed to this. And under the uh, chuppah, during the ceremony, that is given to the woman – as kind of a document to protect her throughout their married life. And what happens if your ketubah gets torn? Um, torn is one thing. What the, the rabbis of the Talmud say that one is not permitted to get married without a ketubah, um, which, which means a woman cannot go into a marriage without this protection. She cannot waive this protection. They're kind of strong and firm on the woman that you must have this protection that your husband, if he divorces you, will have to pay you, take care of you after your marriage. So a, a torn ketubah doesn't mean anything. It would be like a torn check. You know, um, as long as I guess it's, you know, readable and it's, you know, and it's, um, it's not, if it's ripped into 27 pieces, then that would be a problem. Uh, but if it's just torn a little bit, that wouldn't matter. Sometimes people lose their ketubah, in which case you go to a rabbi and he would make up a, a document which says a, a replacement for a lost ketubah. That happens sometimes. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful talking to you today. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Bye.